uh, it's been uh, a long time since I scored, and uh, it, was, it was a good feeling. I know you. Uh, look at the statistics. I know you scored one last year. I think you had one other one in Sweden as a professional before. Uh, you, you didn't have a better celebration in mind other than just the fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not used to scoring goals, so it's uh, kind of awkward when I, when I score. So. Uh, I'll have to do another one next time I score. One thing, you were pretty good at tonight, just as a unit, limited them to 23 shots. What are some of the things you guys did defensively to try and to kind of shut them down and give Jack kind of an easy night? Obviously, you made some stops, but give him a bit of an easier night back there. Yeah, I think uh, I think we didn't get really the start that we uh, that we wanted to. Uh, I think uh, uh, after five or ten minutes in the first, I think we started to play the way we play with, uh, with a lot of skating and uh, high tempo and uh, good breakouts, and I think uh, when we do that, we're uh, we're uh, eliminating their uh, their chances against. So, can you talk through the play that led to the goal? Yeah, I think uh, it was a pass up the middle, and I think uh, Hedy missed the puck a little bit, and I backed him up and had a nice uh, nice little shot there. Do you have any grief for that? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I, I thanked him afterwards. The uh what are some of the things you're seeing back there when Jack comes in and plays? Obviously, he's a type of goal, he's the goalie that comes in, handles the puck a little bit more than than, than Nilstorp does. And what's what's it like having a goalie back there who roams the wrong word, but kind of will go out there and try and make a play with the puck a little bit more? Yeah, obviously, uh, it's it's great when uh, when we have an extra guy there who can handle the puck. Uh, it makes it e it makes it easier for us uh, defensemen when uh, when he dumps the puck. So. Uh, He's doing a really good job, and he's been playing really well since he came, since he came back. Is that something that, uh, as a defenseman, it's nice for you? Since obviously growing up in Sweden, you didn't really, you never really had a goalie ever, I would imagine, who would go out there and play the puck for you. No, it's kind of wasn't really used to it when uh, when, it was, when I came over last year. Uh, the uh, as you said, Neil Stobie doesn't really like to go out there, and uh, it's it's more it's more of a North American thing when uh, they stop the puck and try to handle the puck back there. But he's doing a really good job. So having Jack back and healthy, have you ever turned in my mistake yelled? trying to communicate in Swedish with them since Chris has played so many games? <laughs> that happens all the time, so I'm still, I'm still working on it. <laughs> uh, can you talk a little bit about, it seems like you guys were trading up on the defensive pairings, and uh, can you talk a little bit about what was going on there and uh, how you guys reacted to that? Uh, yeah, he uh, started a game with uh, Gonser there, and he shuffled around. I don't know why he did it. Uh, you have to ask Doug. I, I don't know. I'm going to be honest with you. Yep.